Here's Mark. He started investing six months ago with little research and is disappointed with the results he's seen so far. Mark hopes that his investing can help him change his family tree, mainly for his son and future grandchildren, after a history of poor money mistakes made by his family. After his tricky start to investing, Mark would really like some help. He decides to seek online and comes across eight tips from one of the greatest investors of all time, Warren Buffett. Little did Mark know that these tips would change his life forever. Number eight. As Buffett would say, the first rule of investment is don't lose money. And the second rule is, don't forget rule number one. That seems fairly obvious, right? Well, yes it is, but many investors tend to forget this rule. This rule applies to the types of investors with high tolerance to risk. At times, investors typically gamble rather than invest their money into assets. These gamblers chase high returns without completing thorough research to understand a company. Using Buffett as an example, he invests solely into companies that he understands and researches into. If Mark is to remember one rule, then it better be this one, if he has any chance of achieving his ambitions to change his family tree. Number seven, learn about money. Knowledge is power, quite literally when it comes to money. Personal finance can be tricky, especially when you don't know what you're doing. This is a tip that Mark's family clearly hasn't learned in the past because without knowledge, the chances of making money mistakes increases. This makes it harder to succeed in personal finance. Risks come from not knowing what you're doing, says Buffett. The fear to begin investing comes from the unknown. Emotions can often dictate logical thinking, and learning about money will ensure that your emotions are not getting ahead of themselves. Number six, invest in yourself. Invest in as much of yourself as you can. You are your own biggest asset by far, says Buffett. The greatest asset in the world to you is yourself. Every day, create a better version of yourself and allow these self-improvements to compound over time. Invest the time and the money into necessary education or actions that are going to turn your dreams into reality. Mark follows this advice by investing his time on Millionaire Bytes to learn more about personal finance and he decides to hit the subscribe button. Number five, avoid debt. I've seen more people fail because of liquor and leverage Leverage being borrowed money, says Buffett. Warren Buffett has built his wealth by enabling interest to work for him, not against him. Many Americans have interest working against them, which holds them back from becoming wealthy. In a 2020 study, eight in 10 Americans had some form of consumer debts, and the average debt in America, excluding mortgage debt, was $38,000. These numbers have likely increased since this study was conducted. Now there's high inflation and a looming recession. Mark is one of those Americans, as he has student loans and credit card debts, which accrue high interest. These debts have held Mark back from achieving his dreams of changing his family tree. Number four, form healthy money habits. Most behavior is habitual, and they say that the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken, said Buffett in a speech to the University of Florida. Buffett implores you to reflect on your money habits. What's making you money and what's losing you money? Do you spend too much while shopping online? How much of your paycheck is going towards debt rather than investing? Are you investing? These are the types of questions to ask yourself in your personal situation. If Mark reflected on his personal habits, he'd spot bad money habits and could replace them with better ones. So over time, this would benefit his bank account as he'd have more money at the end of every month rather than less. Number three get high value at low price. Price is what you pay and value is what you get, says Buffett. This is a key mindset to have, not only in investing, but also life. Whether we're talking about socks or stocks, I like buying quality merchandise when it's marked down, Buffett states. Buffett himself lives a modest lifestyle, despite how wealthy he is, by living in the same house he purchased for $31,500 since 1958. The lesson that Mark should take from this is to always be in search of value at a low price, because typically something that's valued will always go up in price. Number two, keep cash on hand. We always maintain at least $20 billion and usually far more in cash equivalents, said Buffett about his business, Berkshire Hathaway. There are two lessons that investors like Mark can take from this tip. Having cash on hand enables individuals to have security with their finances. If the boiler breaks down in your house, for example, then having an emergency fund can keep you financially secure and emotionally calm. 
If a recession hits, then you have the financial security to weather the storm. The other lesson, retracing back to the last point, is that having cash on hand opens the doors to opportunity for you. During a recession, for example, when everything is red and on sale, there's an opportunity to buy value on the cheap with cash. Number one, trust a low cost index fund. If you invest in, in a very low cost index fund, where you don't put the money in at one time, but average in over 10 years, you'll do better than 90% of people who start investing at the same time, Buffett said. Despite Buffett himself slightly going against his own advice by purchasing mostly individual stocks, his portfolio is made up like an index fund, with many companies belonging to various sectors, with thorough research conducted in all the companies he invested in. In fact, Buffett also owns two S&P 500 index funds in his portfolio, but they are a very small percentage in his portfolio. Buffett urges this advice to the average investor, because the average investor wouldn't put the time in, which Buffett does, in researching companies. They also end up typically losing money, so it's best for the average investor to buy index funds. Mark decides to invest in the S&P 500 index, as that's the fund Buffett recommends the most. In conclusion, Warren Buffett has indirectly changed Mark's life, because for once in his life, he feels optimistic about his and his family's future. He hopes that by implementing the tips that Buffett suggests, that they'll help him in his journey of changing his family tree and creating a better future financially. Mark is beginning his journey by paying off all of his high interest debts, in the hope that will free up extra income to put towards investing in the S&P 500. If you found Warren Buffett's tips helpful, but would like more investing wisdom by another brilliant investor, then be sure to check out Charlie Munger's investing tips in our next video.